Episode 6, once again we're flying through, which means we're about 5 weeks in, actually it's 5 weeks today. So, you just saw my way in this morning, was at work nice and early, and what we're doing today is we're doing our first refeed day of the cut. So, for those of you that don't know, a refeed day is basically when you up your calories, um, you sort of drop your protein a little bit, your fats will stay the same, but you spike up your carbs, and it's meant to help your leptin levels, it's meant to make you sort of replenish your glycogen stores, and you use it when you're hungry, when you're starting to uh, feel it in the gym a little bit. So this week I haven't had the best workout, so I've decided today's the first refeed day. So yeah, we're going to get into this. We're going to start off with full protein wheat mix, with some almond milk. And I'm just going to take you through my whole sort of refeed day. So the game plan and how I approach my refeed day is I spike, I increase my sort of daily intake by about 30%. So we're on 2,300 at a minute. So 10% is 230 cows times that by three. So we're going to about 3,000 calories, just under 29 something. I haven't done the math, so I'll probably put it on the screen. That's what we're gonna do. Um, and how I calculate the percentages are, I do one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So I'm 75.6 this morning, which is 170 pounds, which is obviously 170 grams. I'm going to keep my fat bang on 52 where they are and then the rest of the calories till I hit that around 3,000 mark is going to be carbs, so massive uploading carbs. So let's get into it. Oh, it's an absolute beaut. We're only 8.30 in the morning and it's like this. Okay, so the reason why we pick refeed days over cheat days is they're structured and they're controlled. So we keep our fats low, like I said, we control our protein and then we just upload our carbs and this is why I much prefer doing this to a full-blown cheat day because when you go cheat day you can have up to like 200 and 150 grams of fat without even realizing and just blowing it all out so this is controlled this is staying within our diet in terms of our fats and our proteins and we're just uploading those carbs just a tiny bit so yeah and it feels like you feel like you're replenishing everything you feel like you get you, you feel full again for that you have that nice feeling of not feeling like you're dying for the day even though you are still in control so I would much prefer to always refeed I would never advise a cheat day it's always a refeed day so you can refeed day as often as sort of once every two weeks within a diet this is the first one in five and now sort of as you get deeper into the cut you, I will probably go every two to three weeks but uh, we'll just take it by take it as it comes so got a little gap in personal training now I'm gonna have a meet with Mark and Al do a bit more PT work and then with the whole afternoon off so I'm gonna take you through my workout as well Pre-workout meal, I'm just going to have a bowl of cereal. I wanted some bagels, but we didn't have any in, so I'm going to go get some. And on this uh, reefy day, you want to try and take advantage of foods that you can't normally have, but try and make them, obviously make them fit into your calories. So I'm going to try and get, have some foods that I don't normally eat, especially while I'm cutting. But for now, I'm going to eat this, let's spin you to the gym. I really hope that worked. We're here at the gym. It is too much of a nice day to be sat to be getting in the gym and staying in the gym for ages. So I'm gonna smash out this workout. It's a pool day and I wanted to, to train with someone so I could film and edit, but obviously no one else is here. So I'm gonna show you raw, some raw highlights. Get in, get it done, no cardio today, and then enjoy this weather. Good morning. 
absolute bloody beautiful day. Wrapped up that session in and out within an hour. Exactly what I wanted to do. So, it's obviously refeed day and I haven't actually eaten too much food yet because I've been just super busy. So I'm gonna go and have a really big meal then go and do some work and then just carry on filming and refeeding, guys. Right guys, while my lunch is cooking, I'm just having a Walton's Finn bagel with some jam just because I'm absolutely starving and that's still in the oven. So far the briefy dates not going great, I haven't had too much food yet but I haven't actually been that hungry so it means I'm going to have a big big meal later and still be in my calories so that's happy days. Okay, lunch is nice and simple. Sweet potato fries, 280 grams so slightly more than I normally have and just 270 grams of chicken. Add a bit of Nandino on there. Don't worry, I will just track this probably about a couple of tablespoons. Lunch, simple, on the refeed day. Okay guys, the refeed's going down. LED, we're here. Outside, Starbies. Just editing, actually editing the Summer Australian video, which you're watching now. I'll um, actually get a video up for once. Yeah, once once a month that happens, <laughs> generally. But yeah, go and sub him. But yeah, sub him, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I am... What's the point of this clip, Riley? Come on, think about it. Oh yeah. So we're just doing this work here. I haven't actually eaten, I've had a coffee. So I've still got so many... I've hit, I've hit my normal amount of carbs. And we're on, what, 4.30, so that means obviously I'm going to have a load more carbs. But I still haven't smashed this refeed day. So I'm going to show you a few more meals. I had a yoghurt. I think that's all I've had since then. But obviously I'll show you a whole map at the end of the day. Yeah, let's do this. Carry on filming. Okay, guys. So I'm about to hit my macros in the weirdest way. So obviously it's been a refeed day. But I've been really, really busy and I just haven't eaten how I normally would eat in terms of actual proper food. So it's been all on the go food. But I've still absolutely smashed the macros that I was aiming to hit. I'm gonna put a screen grab on screen. This ham thin and I shut up the macros for the day. Two bagels, uh, marmite and cheese standard. I'm gonna have half a tub of these strawberries, 100 grams of blueberries, one of these Bell Vita bars with chocolate, which would be quite nice. One of these bad boys they are. Three pancakes, because why not? And a protein shake. Yeah, so having all that, I'm out actually out with Beth all evening, so that's why I plan exactly what I'm gonna have. We're gonna go out, I think we're gonna go to the beach and just chill for the evening, so that should be pretty cool. But yeah, so that's what I'm gonna take, and that's the macro smash. I'm actually gonna take my scales to Beth, so I'm staying there. And I'll hit you up with a weigh-in in the morning to see if it was a successful refeed. But remember, it's not all about the weight changes. It's, it's, it's how you feel. Do you feel replenished? Like today, I haven't had to worry about hitting my calories. Like in terms of making sure I stay under. I've been able to have a bit, eat what I want and, and feel good about it. So yeah, I mean, having three bagels in the day, living the dream, guys. Nice. Living the dream. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so let's wrap up this video. The refeed day went extremely well. It was nice to be sort of tracking calories but not sticking to really low calories. Letting my body sort of replenish itself. Having those extra calories, especially the carbs, really helped with my gym performance. Um, it's a few days later now, so because I, I wanted to sort of talk to you about how it's affected my gym this week. So we'll, we'll play the way in from the day after, and you can see I was 0.1 heavier than the day before. So bearing in mind I've eaten an extra 700 calories that was pretty good. That day I felt really, really good. Smashed a great workout and I fasted all morning because I was obviously still full. Then hit my calories. I was actually quite under my calories because I had fasted so much. I then hit the new low weigh-in of the all time, which was the day after, which was 75.1 uh, on screen. Since then, I've been floating around the 70, low 75s, it's creeping into the 74. So yeah, that was great. The refeed done me a really, really big favor. I haven't really had any craving since then. The training's been on point. The cardio's been on point. So if you hit that little plateau or that little bump in the road, I suggest try a refeed, see how you get on. And then if it works for you, it's a great way to sort of get around a little plateau and a cut. So that was all good. I'm now heading to work. This video goes live tomorrow. With the next video we're going to have, it's going to be the hoodie launch. And it's going to be the sort of the journey of getting the hoodies. And uh, a bit of a little promo for that. So that's 
really exciting. I'm hoping to have it out by Sunday, but it all depends on when the hoodies turn up. If you have enjoyed that video, please smash the thumbs up button, hit subscribe, and ring the notification bell. So whenever I put a video up, you'll get a notification through. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Peace.